Haugesund in Norway lies on the coastline between Stavanger and Bergen. It's played an important role in Norway's history, but today is a modern, busy port city and it's frequented by most cruise lines that service the Norwegian fjords market. Despite the city being relatively young, the area of Avaldsnes on the outskirts is known as the homeland of Viking kings, where the first king of Norway, Harald Fairhair, had his home and court. These settlements became important because they lie on the Karmenstedt Strait, providing a safe passage north-south over a considerable distance and sheltered boats from the rough North Sea and jagged rocks. And as such, control over this narrow safe passage of water became really important in determining rulership and governance over a wide area of Norwegian coastline. And despite its historic significance, you're probably likely to run into cruise passengers that will tell you this is a dull cruise port or want to do an excursion on. However, we cannot agree. And in this video, we'll show you what you can do in and around the town, as well as some of the more popular excursion options. So if you do decide to explore Haugesund yourself, first you'll need to make your way from the cruise dock into the city centre. Most cruise lines lay on a shuttle bus to save passengers a 15 minute walk through the dock area and over the Rishsui Bridge. If you are okay to walk it though, there are some fine views to be had from the bridge itself. Once across the bridge, you'll find Hulgeston fairly easy to explore on foot. What you get out of it does depend on how far you are happy to walk though. And one of the first places you'll encounter is the historic waterfront area, which is lined with bars, cafes and restaurants. Be aware though that many do not open until 6 in the evening. But if you're lucky enough to get a late sail away, these are definitely worth checking out. You'll also run into a statue of Marilyn Monroe on the quayside. Created at a time when it was speculated that Marilyn's father originated from the town, this was later disproved, but the statue is rather lovely and the locals decided to keep it. And behind the waterfront, you'll encounter Harald Garter, and at one kilometre long, this is one of Norway's longest shopping areas. And the shopping and cafes here are excellent, so take your time, explore all those lovely shops, enjoy some nice cake and coffee, and buy some souvenirs. And at the southern end of Harald's Garter, is the pretty pink town hall and square. Here you'll also find the tourist information office. This striking building was a gift from ship owner Knut Knutsen and his wife Elizabeth, and it opened in 1931. At the northern end of Haraldsgata, you can walk into more suburban areas where you'll discover a statue of King Harald Fairhair himself. If you continue following the coast path north, you'll soon encounter the magnificent Harald Haugen monument erected in 1872 to mark 1,000 years since the country's unification. And this place is also believed to be the burial place of the country's first king, Harold Fairhair. There is also an incredible 1,000-year-old stone cross quite close by to this monument. Continuing north along the coast footpath provides beautiful coastal views and it's possible to walk out to the Kavilan Fear Lighthouse. This is about an hour's walk from the cruise terminal, and walking a little further can take you to the somewhat eccentric sculptures at Kvelsvik Sculpture Park. This whole area is lovely walking, especially if the weather is kind. However, if you do have your heart set on an excursion, Hausen does have some really good options, and one of the biggest draws are the tiny islands and islets to the southwest of the city. And a popular way to visit these areas and enjoy the wildlife is to go by rib boat, which can be boarded just outside the cruise dock. Another very popular trip is to take the 20 minute ride by coach to the historic village of Avelsnes and its Viking farm. Here they've reconstructed a Viking village. There's also a fantastic museum of Viking life, as well as the spectacular St. Olaf's church. Local actors bring the stories of this place to life, and this is the actual site that King Harold Fairhair and many of his successors held court and governed the fledgling country of a unified Norway. Further afield, coach trips to see the picturesque village of Skudnishalven is a popular trip, with its pretty fishing harbour and white-tempered houses providing great photo opportunities. About 90 minutes drive away is the spectacular Longfoss waterfall. Whilst it's best seen from a boat trip in the fjord, coach trips do cross the bridge that span the falls and there are viewpoints for the coach tours also. In the summer months, guided walking tours in mountain areas are also possible, including to the stunning viewpoint at Himakana Rock. Hargelsund is a really present cruise port and provides options to suit the different needs of cruise passengers. Its historical significance and the beautiful scenery both in the fjords and in its coastal setting mean that it's a port that we'd be happy to revisit and return to any time. Having already taken two cruises that stopped here, we've had two really enjoyable experiences on both occasions and we'll be back for a third visit in 2024. Thank you Hargelsund, we are yet to be disappointed by what you have to offer us. Hello, if you 
like our channel and you want to see more of us exploring and explore with us, please like and subscribe. It means so much to us.